Hey, welcome back to Wingnut's Bar. Johnny Wingnut and the Ant-Man. What's up, interwebs? Coming to you with a dogfish head and more ale. This stuff is incredible. I have yep. had it once or twice before. Yep. Ant-Man, have you Noobs. had it? Nope. All right. I am the noob. So, let's see what we got here. Crack like it. This has uh, some maple, some oak. From what I remember when I had it before, it had almost like the beginnings of a scotch where the malt has been smoky, like they, they smoke the malt, just ex exactly how they smoke the malts in scotch. Okay. So the malt, has a, the actual whiskey gets that malty flavor. It actually kind of has that color almost. Yes, it's that. It looks like a nice dark sco scotch or yeah. whiskey. So it is uh, see-through. Oh yeah. Light goes right through it. It is a dark amber. It's got a smell and a taste. Sweet. Yep. Definitely malty, sweet. sweet you get that malty. Yep. A little smoke. I'm trying to find that maple, the oak. I I, uh, that, I mean maybe that'll come through in the flavor. But I'm not smelling that. Yeah, it's definitely a sweet maltiness in the in the in the nose. Not so much no hops. Yeah, it's no basically just like that whatsoever. sweetness in the in the nose. Um, as far as the the smokiness, right? You don't really smell. No, it like I that. think you'll taste it though. That, that's definitely what I remember from the last one. Yeah. Now I've had this since it came out, uh, bottled, bottled in 2012. So no bottled. Excuse me. Bottled in. Should we just start right? Sweating. It was bottled in 2013, which means this year. And it was uh, the beginning of the year when I picked it up. And I've had that in the fridge since then. It is now uh, summertime, so it's it's aged for a couple months. Yeah, nothing fridge. crazy. So let's dive in. Yeah. It should be as close to fresh as possible, but I plan on aging some of these as well. Wow. A lot of sweetness. Yeah, very little smoke or oakiness. I like it better now than I did when I first had it. Really? And it's a couple months down the road. In the fridge, a couple months down the road. It's not like super aged or anything like that. I think it's going to get better with age. I, I picked up like a case just to age, just for the purpose of aging, aging, because I knew this is one of their ageable beers. Okay. Their ageable beers are considered the 120. Yeah. The immortal. A more ale. Immortal ale. Immortal. And more ale. The uh, old school barley barley wine and the worldwide stout, which I love. Yeah. I love the worldwide stout. Fantastic. But that is another show for another day. This stuff is phenomenal. Yeah. At 11 percent, it is not. Extremely boozy. Take another sip, though. I um. The second sip I took, I got some oakiness. I got some wood flavors through there. I got some smokiness through there. Yeah. It takes a little while. Yeah. It, yep. it kind of once your palate kind of gets used to it, it starts accentuating some of the other flavors. Yeah, in it. it's 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 good. It's that, very that good. Maple sweetness is in there. It's a nice balance. I, I like it. This is very good. I think I'd compare this to the old curmudgeon. Yes, definitely. By the founders. I think old curmudgeon is a little more on the sweeter side. This is more um, on the bitter side to me I do that, because though. of the smokiness. I'd say this is sweeter. Really? I personally think this is a little bit sweeter. Okay. Not leaps and bounds. Yeah. But is that hair that, sweeter? No, not even a hair. Not even like, a hair. Wow. A little bit sweeter. Okay. Yeah. Um, I would, just like we disagreed with the quads that we did, this, I think, is sweeter than the uh, old curmudgeon, old ale, curmudgeon old ale. Yeah. Both phenomenal beers. If you could pick up the curmudgeon yeah. or the, the more ale, you're not going to have a yeah, bad beer. Yeah, it's a win-win situation. You're I think, lose. like, by default, I like everything by both of those companies. I, uh, yeah. Not well, so I mean, much I'm for not, you because I'm you're, not a big uh, you're IPA. The IPA guy. Uh, I'm not a big like I haven't really had a ton of uh, dogfish yet. I think I've had more founders than dogfish. Um, I'm slowly getting into the dogfish, but everything I've tried from dogfish has actually been pretty good. 
Dogfish is amazing. Um, they're just very consistent. They nail their stuff 100% yep. all the time. So if you want a nice, crisp, refreshing drink, yeah. like the Festina Peach, Festina Peach yep. amazing. Yeah. You know, you want the 60-minute, 90-minute, the 120 that 120. I convince you that you'd like. You yep. know? Stay tuned for that one. Oh. That's going to be awesome. It's Yeah, I don't say a word. He just goes <laughs> off on yeah, it was that this good. Stuff is, this stuff is good. This this Mort Ale, I actually like it now more than when I first had it. Really? Okay. Maybe this, your palate's kind of... Yeah. Uh, like the smokiness, when I have like a scotch, I like something from the Highland, the Lowland, or the Speyside. I, do not, I don't like anything from the Isla. The Isla has more... Oh, I'm blowing your mind now, right? <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to get my catch made. The, the catch with all that knowledge is dropping right now. The Scotch, Scotland, okay. has different regions of where they produce the Scotch. Okay. Highland, Lowland, Speyside, or Inland, and they have like a very mellow Scotch. Anything on the Isla. Now, Isla is spelled I-S-L-A-Y. Okay. It looks like Islay, yeah. but it's pronounced Isla. Isla. Now, the Isla Scotches are very peaty and salty and medicinal because they're on the i they're on the coast and there are islands and stuff yep. and it's just it's horrible it's i i personally think it's horrible people love it now if you're looking at a scotch and you can't pronounce the name pretty pretty close it, it, it's a pretty good assumption that it's going to be an isla scotch the weird names of scotches are isla okay the stuff that you can pronounce like johnny walker or doers or spaceside or uh, Ak Akintoshin is pretty hard to pronounce, yeah, but it, it is a lowland. There's only a couple of distilleries in the lowland. Now, I'm getting into, like, yeah, scotch. we got to do a wingnuts bar with scotches. Yeah, but anyway. Bring it back. I'm we're going to bring, bring it, it back, back on this. Now, when I first had this, it was a little bit peaty, a little bit smoky. I could taste that. Now, it's been in my fridge for a couple months now, and really that smoky peatiness has really subsided. Yeah, mellow. And I like it a lot now. Okay. More than More than before. Only because that has subsided. That's why, like, I, I digress. Yeah. I stay away from anything from the Isla. The Isla have, like, look it up. The Isla has all the weird, you know, distillery names. Like, hard to pronounce names. Right. Um, people are into that, though. And you might like this fresh when it has that peatiness. It's because they use the peat to smoke the grains to germinate turn into a malt, and that's the malt that they that's use the to grind up and make, yep. the, make the mash. I'm not a fan of the peatiness. Okay. I like low peatiness, because that's I think it's medicinal, and I don't like that. All right. But anyway, I just wanted to give some background, background of some peat background and on. malt and scotch, because and, that's kind of in there. And basically what a beer is is the foundation of uh, whiskey. Yeah. You know, you get the malt, you... you uh, ferment it, and then you distill that fermentation. You co collect all that distillation, and that's your whiskey. Right. You collect all the alcohol. So yeah. this is basically the first step of whiskey. So all you whiskey drinkers out there, this is yeah. like whiskey with training wheels. That's right. Like I big like training my, wheels. I like my training wheels so I don't fall over. Yeah, so. Debo likes his training wheels. Debo so likes this them. Is Debo training wheels. Because <laughs> it's Friday, you ain't got no job. <laughs> You ain't got shit to, to do. do. <laughs> I'm gonna get you drunk today. Um, sorry, yeah. we're being silly today. This this yeah. is good stuff. Really good Very stuff. Very good. Pick it up. It's a seasonal release. Okay. I think it's uh, towards the first quarter of the year. All right. So early early Snatch part of the year. Snatch it up when you can find it. Definitely smoky. Definitely sweet. Uh, nice balance between the two. But not as smoky as it would be if it was. Totally fresh. Right. This is a couple months this is, old. This is mellowed, mellowed a little. Out. Yep. Um, scores? I'll let you go first on okay. this one. Okay. I'm going to give it an eight and a half. Eight and a half? See, I was going to go seven right off the bat. All right. That's where I was at first sip. So, very good. Definitely worth a shot. Keep calm. Let him finish. And it's right here. Chive on. Chive on.